Yeah, we could have the outside walkway be a train track. It's very appropriate. Considering everything. We'll have to make more, and this is probably going to get expensive, but I like the idea of it. Okay. I don't know if we do... if it does junctions very well. Doesn't look like it. We might want to move some of it around. But yeah, I think this is a good idea. Head that one up. There we go. Yeah, it works better. I think what I might want to do is actually just a loop. I guess we're going to run out of resources first. But what I think I'm going to do is actually just have a big central loop with some, like, side things. And I don't think I'm ever going to use the carts to, to go through here. But it would certainly be amusing. And yeah, we can even use this as a uh, means of making a ramp to get up. Okay. Well, for now, let's grab these. Gonna bonk everything up here. We're just gonna tear this all up. Defects. Oh. We might be able to bring them back. Uh, let's see. We're gonna wait for that a little bit. I guess you know what I could do. Uh, let's see. Do I have. I should have a silly amount of sand sitting around. So let's put away the. Uh, put away some of this stuff. Put away that. I'm gonna put away the stairs. I think we'll use ladders, too. There's some half-height blocks on the bridges, I believe, which could be used as jun junction points on the rails. Yeah, I mean, once we once we get a, a larger variety, we might rip up the rails. I just think the rails are are a pretty effective thing for me right now. At least as far as like what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to replace all this with sand for the time being. And at some point, at some point we'll come back through. I don't know what I'm going to put on the lower side of this, but I figured I want to put the forge up high where we've got a little bit more room. And then, I don't know, around. Okay. Yeah, we could even have the uh, staircase, like have have this lead to the rail system. Maybe I don't know. Okay. So we want to put metal blocks down. Don't question it. Oh, you know, I probably should have actually put... Eh. We want stone floor, and how big do we want it? We probably don't want it to go any deeper than the other one. And we want to leave some space on the sides. So we can get through. 
He actually, uh, let's see. Tear all of that up. I wasn't holding the look down button. Didn't even put it anywhere close to where I wanted it to go. Okay. I guess it's not going to be a particularly big smithy. I guess we could have it go a bit deeper than anything. Because we can, we can have the, uh, we can have part of it moving on to this section. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just have a long, long smithy here. Because it can still go back. Uh, let's see, and yeah, I will have pillars on the bottom, don't worry about it. It's just right now I don't have the materials for it, so I just want to have... The basics down. Is that? Yeah, that's right. But yeah, so I'm just gonna have this here. And pillars at some point. Uh, let's see. tear this up. Because this will be the entrance. A little longer and thinner than I was really aiming for originally, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Let's put. Anvil, workbench. Let's see, smithy and smithy. In that case, do we want to actually have the ent entrance not be on the side? Alternatively, we could pick this up. That's a bit better. A little bit more initial room. Oh. Uh, let's see. So what do we got this time? Uh, let's see. 57 coal, 10 iron, and 18 copper. That's not bad. So you raise the rails by one square. Yeah, I, sh I should do that. I actually didn't realize the f the original floor height on everything. Uh, I'll probably do that slightly later. Because that's going to take a short period of time. And right now, a little bit more important that I get uh, the smithy just going in general. Let's see. So where did my metal blocks go? Are we to We're totally out. Uh, let's see. In that case, we want to make as many as we can. 130. Excessive, but that's fine. Also, I'm thinking for the wall. For the sake of excessiveness and maybe laziness, I'm not sure. I really like the idea of every layer is a new metal. So every time we get a, a new type of block, we just add it to the previous one. So it goes stone, iron, silver, gold. I don't know. And we'll have to see what kind of wall blocks we get along the way. But just having some kind of, like, egregious bulwark. Sounds really attractive to me. Which means we should probably make a, a layer of copper next. Yeah, so let, let's add a layer of copper next. I don't think there's any copper doors, but still. Okay, we might want to put a window in, but we'll put that in after. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe a window between the two forges in the back. We'll see. Uh, let's see. So I still have a bunch of these. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We need a door. And obviously we want something sturdy looking. Right, and I need a sack. And he did say a pot and a chest? I think he did. Uh, 
And we have a smithy. It is of average size. It is impressive how well the NPCs path to my location, actually. Good job with the new smithy, dude. You got a real knack for this kind of thing. Ah, the smell of a freshly smelted iron of freshly smelted iron has never felt so good. We can do great work in a smithy like this. But making ingots is a time-consuming task. We could work more effectively with two forges on the go. I'll leave the final decision up to you. Way ahead of you, Chuckle Bluff. More to the point, have you tried your hand at ironmongering yet? Maybe the heavy metal paneling will provide some food for thought in that builder's brain of yours. Just imagine forge iron clashing against solid rock. I'm sure something will come to mind. I know they say you can't rush creativity, but have you really not figured it out yet? Sledgehammer. A sledgehammer, of course. I knew you'd figure something out, dude. Hardened hammer like that won't bounce off tough rocks like that weak wooden thing. Well, time to break out the anvil and elbow grease. Have you got everything you need to make it? If not, it's down to the mine you go. But I, I spent all of my iron. No. That's fine. See ya, potses later if you map. Alright. Iron dig site. There we go. Hydrate thine selves. It's important. Okay. So, obviously, we need more iron. The iron dig site, you say? Hmm. Right here, then. Let's see, can I get these? Perfect. Any other blocks lurking around here that I haven't got, got yet? Very possibly. Uh, there's a lot of collateral damage when I set that thing off. For entirely understandable reasons. Looks like there's more to be had in the area. Let's see, what level? This level? Yeah, it's mostly clawed stone. I only got like two iron out of that, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, the one thing is, I could just make, like, some kind of uber, like, ten block thick clodstone horror monster. Which would certainly be amusing. Kind of wasteful. Ooh, more iron. Yes. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. How do we get there? Okay, clods stones. Lead me to victory. Okay, uh, you know what? Grand scheme of things, pop that right there and we'll just work it out. Blast mining. A lot faster. I also have a lot of these, so I don't really see the reason not to. I mean, yeah, kind of wasteful, but at the same time, I got iron. Okay. Just 
grab the last of this. So this is gonna leave me at like 50 iron, give or take. That's not a bad, that's not a bad spot to go back. Okay, looking good. Absolutely starving. Mushroom on a stick. I'll have to go raid the stock, see if we can get some more. I could cook some myself, but that doesn't sound very fun. Where am I? How do I get out of here? Okay. Any other sources of iron just sitting around? Uh, It's like one iron there, but that's not, that's not really that great. Okay, one way or another, this is this is more than enough. Why does Wander have so many bombs? It's a bit concerning. I, you know, grand scheme of things, they just gave me this many, and I was like, sure, sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta move the rails up. Uh, put away the gladstone because we have so much already. I might just make a chest full of Clodstone just to sort it somewhere else. You can't place it there. I absolutely can. You fraud? Alright, perfect. Oh! I did have enough iron sitting around. I just had to actually collect it. That's okay. It would have taken a while anyway. Hi! We would like your finest. There's some other things. Uh, oh right, mallet. Mallet is here. Sledgehammer. Yeah, so it could make the chainmail. It's got a defense of 28, but like, that's only five more than my turtle shell. My turtle shell is just downright charming. Hammer leveled up. Smash even the sternest, stoutest stuff. Dude. What the heck is that? It looks kind of like your old hammer, but much more smashy. It really suits you. The real proof in the pudding is, the sma is in the smashing. Let's go and test that thing out on some poor, unsuspecting blocks. But how come you're the only one that gets a shiny new toy? I want you to make me something nice and dangerous, too. We don't immediately invent something cool for Malroth? I'm disappointed. Because the last time we invented anything for him was that, that spiked club. And at, and at this point, like, that's only marginally better than what I've got. Okay, can I make any more copper? That is a fine sledgehammer you've crafted there, dude. I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use down in the mine. When I see you, see you sledgehammer in hand, it fills me with confidence. If anyone can rebuild the pub, I already did, and revive the mine, you can, dude. There's something I gotta get off my chest. I've gotta get the children Hargon off this island. They've been running the show around here for far too long. No matter how many of us see the light and reject Hargon's ways, so long as his lackeys are still around spreading their lies, we'll never be, uh, we'll never bring the good old Days back to Crumble Dawn. This island is ruled by the Underseer, one of the children's top brass. If you can defeat her, it'll put Crumble Dawn back in our hands and give Hargon a proper poke in the eye. Oh, somebody wishes to talk to me. Watch it, dude! I heard you got yourself a sledgehammer now. Sounds like the tool we've been looking for. Remember that rocky blockage Dougie said you couldn't break down? Well, I reckon that new hammer of yours could do this, do a smashing job on it. Dude, before you go, take these, I made it myself. You know, in case you get hungry down there. Those tunnels are cold and dark, not to mention dangerous. You and Melroth watch each other's backs down there, okay? Again? Listen here, dude. I'll let you take her lunch, but I'll never let you take her art. That belongs to me. Don't you gotta have her to be swinging somewhere? Off your trot, then. Down to the mine. Or you could just warp it all the way back down to the iron dig site. May as well cut out the legwork, innit? It'd be great if she kept making 
I'm not gonna say like passes it, dude, but like uh Uh, let's see. Not passes a dude, but kept, like, shipping dude Melroth together. And she's like, here's some food. Here's here's some fr food for you two. And have a nice date down there. And she's just constantly, like, uh, wingmanning for, for buddy squad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Really hard to do without knocking myself off, considering the hitbox on these things. Okay. Oh. Okay, hold on. I might be able to just hit these from below. I can. That's convenient. Because I gotta move them up a layer. Cause yeah, I like, I like this placement, but it's a little shorter than I thought it was going to be. Or, well, it's just on the wrong layer. Is it more mole men? Looks like it. Luckily none of them are bright enough to actually jump the wall. Well, do we have the copper layer next? I could. could. Probably get another door up in here. Let's see. I think we want it to be there. Right? Okay, yeah, this looks good. At least for now. Ah! You don't belong there. And at some point, we will maybe replace this with some kind of stone thing. But we got to get the town up to, like, level 3 or 4 before I think I can actually do that, unfortunately. I guess I'll just continue this on. Okay. And let's continue the trend of the Ironbound Bar. That looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got a lot of iron rolling in. We've got some amount here. Uh, let's see. Can I make rails yet? Or are we, are we still incapable of making train tracks? Oh, no. I can make train tracks. And they're... They're actually wicked cheap. So that's not bad. Let's see. Got one more rail down below. Perfect. So now that now that connects. So we do want to get a rail here. We also want to get the copper wall. Oh, I wanted the door though. Well, you know what? Easy place for the time being. Oops. My non-existent whatever room. Okay. I'm just going to continue this ladder up. I might just have ladders kind of strewn about this entire area for the time being. 
as well. Line it up. Okay, looks lined up. I don't know what I'm going to put down there. Uh, let's see. But I figure we can also put just, you know, ladders on some of these legs and so on and so forth. And people can just climb around left and right and use the rails to get around. You know, I might stick with the rails, uh, unless we get a, a more, much more suitable block. Okay, so what else do we have? Right, I need doors. I need a. I need several of these. So let's make a, a silly amount of doors. Let's make more doors. And then this should be good enough that I can make, uh... What I need. I still can't actually make flagstone, I don't think. But that's okay. Because I don't necessarily need to. Wonder if all this scaffolding will get used, or if it's just gonna be in the background this entire time. We'll find out, I guess. Alright. Let's see. Where do I want this door to be? I wonder if we'll get uh, three wide doors at some point. They exist in this game. Or at least they existed in the previous one. All right, secondary door. <laughs> uh, at some point, I'll make it taller. Can we smash the rock now, by the way? Yep. Yep, so I can smash that stuff now. But for now, we are going to make a goofy dumb wall for no good reason. And yeah, I might make each layer taller by one as well. And we'll get to work on the iron wall. I mean, honestly, I could actually get the iron wall as well. We have the doors. At some point, something is going to smash into all of this and I'm going to be upset and then I'm going to make a moat. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Yeah, we do have... No, that's silver brick. That That's the next layer. Okay, so we need... Wow. Apparently we need a lot of I iron to make these blocks. Well, I guess I should probably use what I need on the uh, bar first. Because at some point, I'm going to want to put a second floor on this thing. Uh, let's see. I guess I should probably be ready for that. And no, I don't need to put iron on all of this. It just looks really good with the framing of everything. Oh, you know, that actually would be really amusing. Uh, if the way we handle the uh, the copper bar is then we make a, uh, a silver bar directly... Uh, like... A, nearly identical but slightly fancier bar directly above it. I'll have to make ramparts or something. Can you not? I might have to like hem it in or something so they they don't go down this side. At least it just seems to be digger moles which can't do anything. Also thank you Clefspear for the 23 month resub. Why can you email a photo to a Jedi? Because attachments are forbidden. Oh, why can't you? You goofed. I did have a teacher in school, though, that uh, actively refused to accept emails uh, from anybody. 
with like attachments in them. Because virus, is, she was a complete ludite. It was bad. Uh, let's see. Which, it was dumb too. Because like, she was one of those teachers that like almost could have maybe been a tech whiz, but her like staunch refusal to learn anything new made her completely useless. How do I describe it? That's just gonna be weirdly weird, dumb, and inconvenient. Whatever happened to Sinking City? I get really frustrated with it because the side quests are bad. Uh, we can come back to it at some point. I just, I have so many other games that I want to play that Sinking City didn't seem like a high priority for me. It was one of those games that it was so pointlessly large that I stopped enjoying it, if that makes sense. Three doors? Yep. Nobody's getting through this wall. <laughs> building a wall? I'm building a bulwark. Nothing nothing is getting into this town. This seems a little excessive. No, it ain't. There's no such thing as excessive in my vocabulary. There is just adequate and just right. And we are very much in the just right, but maybe actually just adequate because it needs to be thicker and bigger and all sorts of things. Listen here, lads. The light's fading fast. So we better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Gather around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration. It looks like we've bagged them up all. Oh, right. We don't need to hear this. Anyway, some iron, some copper, some other stuff. So do we get a moat, too? Uh, oh. Dude, you won't believe it. The miners collected a thousand lumps of copper. We can finally turn Goldie Rocks into a copper golem. Come on, let's hurry over and tell them the good news. Hey, finally happened. Whoa-ho! Me become Copper Golem! Thank you, dude! Congratulations, Goldie Rocks. You're looking pretty dapper. Thank you, Babs. Me happy. Uh, you happy. Me happy. We all happy. But if no become gold golem, golden age no return. Need more metal. There's only one thing for it. We'll have to push deeper into the mine. That's if there's any gold and silver left down there. We can worry about that later. For now, let's just be happy about Goldie Rocks' swanky new look. That copper clobber really suits you. Really? Really, really? Thank you, Babs. Me feel stronger already. Okay. So now that I've now that I've done that, now that I've got the wall kind of set up. And yes, I could I could expand the wall further and add add more stuff now, but I think we'll wait for the silver to roll in. Uh I feel like we should just wait. Let's see, we're on the second island. Still? Yeah, yeah. We're still on the second island. Third, technically, if you count the Island of Awakening. But this is the second story island, if that makes sense. I'm gonna sleep with all the buff guys. I went to bed before them. I didn't wake up. I didn't notice them. They weren't there. As far as I, I'm concerned, they spent the whole night drinking at the bar. Okay, I've got more than enough food. Uh, let's put away a bunch of these blocks. And let's actually make some progress in the mines. 
today. Oh, right. I can't open the map while I'm inside a building because instead it's just telling me about room sizes, which is not really that helpful or interesting. Roland wants to talk to you. No, he doesn't. Okay, and those doors are purely for other reasons. We're... I see you had to join us, dude. Why have you brought that smug look with you, eh? We, what we need is a particularly powerful... Huh? You made yourself a sledgehammer? Sounds like just what we need to slif shift this blockage. Oh, there ain't no time like the present, dude. I want to see how your new toys sizes up them rock hard blocks. We... Question is, please can I can I explode? The answer is no. I can explode everything else around it. But none of the really tough ones. Which is unfortunate. Understandable, but unfortunate. Well, I'm just gonna leave that as such. Because it doesn't seem... Why Why are we going with a really claustrophobic camera angle? There we go. Oh. Uh, oh, it's like an underwater area. That's cool. I don't think we need much for coal. What's up with this place? I'm a butcher's at this, dude! There's wet stuff all over the shop! Us miners ain't exactly... Uh, Us miners ain't exactly the strongest swimmers. If we get swept up into that lake, it'd be curtains for a lot of us. Sorry, dude, but we can't go no further. Hang about, see them chains? Have a quick shimmy up, uh, shimmy up and find where all this water's coming from, will ya? Try plopping down a few blocks and see if you can plug the leak. Let's see. Wonder, are you interested in dude wearing a bunny girl outfit? Because you can make one later. I mean, that's a given. My disappointment is that Melroth can't wear one. Let's see. Well. I guess considering everything else doesn't work. Wait, pool? That counts as a room? That's hilarious! Yep. What is that? Ah, it's just grass fiber. Lodstone. I guess really what they want me to do is fill the rest of this in. You put a stop to that leak, dude! You're an absolute legend! Now we can head down to the lower level. I wonder what we'll find. Question, can I swim up a waterfall? I can. I might have to use that somewhere. Or something. Anyway, it looks like there's something over there. Possibly several somethings. Oh. Yoink! I got a crested viper fountain. Okay. Place some water to activate. Cute. And now I can make one of those. Because okay, so we've got a lantern there. It doesn't seem like there's anything else particularly useful. We've also got this. What is this? And why? Why is this here? Oh, it's mine now. I hope... I hope nobody was using that, or felt particularly, uh... 
attached to whatever that was because uh, it's gone now. It's mine. It is gone for good. Oh, another heal slime. Need directions, Koopin? It's easy to lose your bearings in these tunnels. But if you lose your map, you can see which way to go. Oh, hey. There's a boatload of iron here. Uh, let's see. Probably two-parter. Sure, I can mine this myself. Or... Huh. We didn't get some of it, for reasons. The AoE on these bombs is kind of weird, suffice to say. Ugh. Let's see, it doesn't look like there's any more iron up above. So why don't we do... Probably right there. Okay. Oh. Oh. I think this is supposed to be a mining station for the miners. Whoops. <laughs> That's mildly unfortunate for them. Because, yeah, that ain't coming back. Oh god, drolls are weird and I don't like them. At least this one's not talking to me. That's a thing that happens. Oh wow, yeah, look at all this iron. Honestly, I'm probably well stocked for now. Thanks a million, dude! How can I head over the bridge without having to worry about drowning? I got a question. This big puddle get here in the first place. And I know puddle, Malroth, it's an underground lake. Beautiful, isn't it? This mine's hiding more mysteries than we could possibly imagine. The old tales tell of mystical temples, forgotten shrines, and hidden treasures so valuable they're invaluable. These tunnels might be dark and deadly, but if the stories are to be believed, that shock a block with adventures just waiting to happen. Wow, yeah, look at all this iron here. Well, it's uh, all gone and or mine now. And now I've got a secret under, uh, secret waterfall cave. I mean, it's not much to look at. <laughs> Man, look at all this iron. I, I'm gonna have to stop though. Yeah, so, you know those two blocks that I left behind? <laughs> That's almost like ra rabid level of just doof. I love it. Okay. We're starting to run into like blue mole men and so on and so forth. I'm a little bit disappointed you can't learn uh, like magic and, and so on and so forth in this game. I think it would have actually been kind of cool if they had included some of the uh, Dragon Quest level of class stuff. So you could either have like Malroth be an archer. You, well, no, maybe not Malroth, but you could choose how you want to support Malroth. Because I'd totally love to be like a buffer healer kind of guy. Hi, this is a tremendous place. Ah! What? Ah! It's a dirt slime. Actually, I don't really remember what those name what those things are named. Monsters. Uh let's see towards the end here. Muddy box slime. They animate really well though. 
I gotta give credit where credit is due. 